Hi, Dennis from Caravan Cooking here. Got a great happy hour recipe, bacon bomb balls, and some new toys to demonstrate today as well. So keep watching, there'll be an exam at the end. Hi, coming to you from Maitland in New South Wales today. Um, a daughter and um, partner's house and uh, not out camping unfortunately, but we hope to do that soon. But look, I want to show you some of the gear that we're going to use today. We've got a new uh, pit bry um, uh, fire pit that we'll have a look at. We've got my uh, trusty spun steel camp oven, which we spoke about in the last video. Uh, we've got a trivet inside of that as well. Um, and I'm also using, we'll be using a um, uh, a little um, stainless steel grill in there as well, um, so the bomb balls don't uh, fall to the bottom. And last but not least, we'll be using uh, a heat bead chimney um, to light the heat bead. So we'll go through that um, shortly. This recipe is from uh, the Keto Life uh, recipe book, um, so it's a high protein uh, keto recipe as well. So uh, let's have a look at the fire pit. Okay. Yeah, so the fire pit comes in a handy nylon. Um, bag it's padded uh, and it fits in there quite tightly so it doesn't uh, move around um, the fire pit's also got this base with uh, clips and that um, that catches any ash that falls out of the pit as well which is quite handy the, um, the fire pit is stainless steel it folds flat <laughs> can be a little bit difficult to uh, unfold um, especially the first time you use it like I've, like I've done here There you go, that's an unfolded. I'm just clipping it to the base now. Um, that really makes it very, very sturdy. So it folds completely flat, but it's very sturdy when it's clipped into the base like this. It's a small cast iron grill and that goes in the base of the fire pit and your fire uh, fire lighters or um, heat beads or timber will go on top of that and it just gives it some airflow which helps the, uh, the fire. So this is an adjustable grill stand. You can adjust the height of the grill um, using the um, little legs on the side there. looks quite flimsy but it's actually very very sturdy and quality stainless steel so the grill stainless steel as well um, you can grill straight on top of that your your meat but you could also put your uh, a fry pan or something on the top there as well um, but as I said it's very sturdy all holds together the next step is to uh, get the heat beads going um, the little cast iron um, grid is in the bottom of the the fire pit there and we've got to get the uh, heat beads going in the heat bead chimney I always use the um, the fire starters I don't use the heat beads that have got soaked in kerosene I, I find that they um, they give off quite a smell but the fire lighter works very well Probably should have put the fire lighter underneath the chimney rather than in the base of it. There, there's a um, a little area underneath which, and, and it would have um, would have been a lot better. Place your heat beads on. The important thing is to not uh, choke the fire, so not to smother the flame of the heat be of the. Um, the fire started with the heat beads, so you need to be pretty careful with that. Just moving the heat beads around so we've got a bit of airflow to the fire lighter. The next is um, the preparation of the um, the the food itself so I've used pork mince this is a 
big recipe I've got for one, one kilo of uh, pork mince so it's for uh, eight people we fit eight people with it the, the recipe in the comments section I've done for 500 kilos which is uh, 500 grams sorry which is probably what most people would do so add the pork tidy up as you go so you've got a clean work area The next thing is the Chinese five spice. We've got one half teaspoons of the Chinese five spice. They really add sweetness to the dish, especially the cinnamon and the fennel that's in the Chinese five spice sort of adds that, uh, and the sweetness of the pork, of course. And the next is the cayenne pepper. I've actually toned the recipe down for cayenne pepper. Uh, I found I probably put a little bit too much in um, uh, when I was cooking this. So I've toned it down to one teaspoon of cayenne pepper for one kilo of mince. Again, putting everything away. Um, the rosemary leaves, so the fresh rosemary that I've uh, taken off the stalks and uh, chopped finely. And finally, some garlic. I always use the crushed garlic in the uh, jar. I just find that so much easier. And use heaps of garlic. Look, it, it, most people, I don't know anybody who doesn't like garlic, quite frankly. Um, but I've got two uh, tablespoons of crushed garlic in there. then give it a good mix up. The table I'm using is um, a drifter drawer so the, the, the bit on the left there sort of folds over to the top uh, and the drawer comes out the right hand side I, so I've had that I had a purpose made by drifter in Gloucester. Um, I'll put a link in the comments to, uh, to drifter um, look, they're a great Australian company, uh, Luke and the team there, and they make these drawers for all different sizes for order. So this was specially made for my FJ Cruiser when I had it. Um, it's very versatile. It's got legs built into the bottom. So just mixing up that mince now, just making sure everything is mixed through uh, properly. And then basically making the meatballs. So the meatballs, about 50 grams each. So, uh, you know, normal meatball size. And I've cut the mozzarella to about five millimeter cubes. You just basically push it into the middle of the meatball. Give it a good roll. And just repeat until all the mince is finished, basically. The little stainless steel tray is um, a Weber brand. Um, it goes in like a Weber Baby Q, that sort of stuff. I, I've uh, used it a couple of times in that, but it just fits perfectly in my camp oven as well. And that's really just going to stop the meatballs sticking to the trivet in the bottom of the camp oven. And a lot easier to clean too. You could use other um, types of mince with this recipe too, I suppose, but the pork mince really goes beautifully with the bacon. Um, and of course, uh, pork 
is uh, a lot sweeter than lamb and um, and beef as well. So it just adds that um, that different dimension to the happy hour dish. Once the meatballs are, are, um, are done, we've got to wrap them in the bacon. Look, I, I bought streaky bacon. That's what the recipe said to use. I found that wasn't um, wasn't ideal. The bacon kept uh, breaking up, quite frankly. So I think shortcut um, bacon would be a better way to go. There's a streaky bacon breaking up. It really didn't work as well as I um, I would like, but I think the secret in this case was to use a large piece of bacon and give it a really wrap it well. Don't be stingy with um, the bacon being wrapped around the meatball. Much better to go go large. I've also soaked the teak the um, toothpicks in water I think just when it was in the hot camp oven I didn't want the toothpicks to smolder or to burn and disintegrate quite frankly but um, just soaking it in water made the difference Okay, back to the fire pit. So it took about half an hour for the heat beats to get to that stage. If I wasn't using the heat bead chimney, it would take a lot longer than that. So I've been caught too many times waiting on heat beads to heat up. So the chimney is just a fantastic thing. I use it every time I use heat beads now. And I use heat beads rather than uh, timber. I find uh, timber it's too hard to control the heat a heat beads are a lot e a lot easier and temperature control is just so important so the bacon bomb balls are inside the camp oven so we put the little stainless steel grill in there and the bacon bomb balls are sitting on top of the stainless grill on top of the trivet inside the camp oven and it's a spun steel camp oven. You could do the same with the cast iron, but it's just a lot harder to clean, that's all. And what you really need to know with camp ovens is you really need to have heat on the top. And in my experience, I have twice as much heat on the top as you do on the bottom. So twice as much heat on the top twice as many heat beads on the top of the camp oven than underneath the camp oven and that that heats the air inside the camp oven as well which helps to bake what's ever inside so we certainly needed that heat on the top to cook the bacon um, or else they just wouldn't have cooked and of course with those heat beads on the top the temperature was quite um, quite warm so we've got the handy um, handy uh, camp oven lifting tool Could have used a, um, a welding glove of course but I just find the camp oven lifting tool is my preference and a link to all this gears on the um, on, the, on the, the website as well so it takes about 20 minutes for these to cook and after about 20 minutes there's the finished product
Hi, back in Portland, uh, New South Wales, uh, near Lithgow. It's 10 degrees outside. It's pretty cool. Uh, nice and cosy in the van. Um, did some editing on the video uh, over the weekend and realised there was a piece missing, so uh, let's fill in the gaps. Um, the bacon bomb balls uh, were quite successful. We had eight people to feed. They were very, uh, very tasty. The sweetness of the five spices, the saltiness of the bacon, the slight heat of the cayenne pepper, and the explosion of the explosion of uh, cheese in the mouth from the um, uh, the mozzarella in the middle uh, were, were really really tasty. Uh, the eight people we fed um, loved them all. They they were too embarrassed to or too shy, if you like, to appear on camera, uh, which is understandable. And um, uh, but literally there was none left, so uh, that was a pretty good result. I feel uh, the gear. Uh, the new gear that I had worked well as well. I was quite happy with that. Um, links to the gear are, are, are below if you're interested in having a look at that. Um, a link to the recipe is uh, below in the comments as well. So um, uh, have a look at that. Uh, please like and share it uh, with your friends. Um, and invite people to subscribe to the channel as well. I'd, I'd like to do uh, lots more of these videos. Um, uh, so uh, subscribe and hit the little bell button for notifications and you will find out when the new ones come up. Lots more recipes on my website as well, caravancooking.recipes. Um, lots of recipes on there and this is these are the videos that are just starting to do. So um, look, that's all from me. See you next time. Hooroo. Try not to move, yeah? Okay, one, two, three. Dennis from Caravan Cooking here. Got a great recipe for happy hour food, bacon bomb balls. We've also got some new toys to play with today, which we'll, which we'll have a look at. Um, and there'll be a short exam at the end, so make sure you watch through. One, two, three. Hi, Dennis from Caravan Cooking here. Um, got a great recipe here for a happy hour um, treat today. Uh, bacon. Hi, Dennis from Caravan Cooking here. And I forgot what I was going to say.